Public Square's stock changed their ticker name and moved over 100% higher today in reaction to that change. And obviously, they rang the bell at the New York Stock Exchange as well. So that's good exposure for the company. But in this video, I will go over the chart, give a price prediction. I'll also go into some social media trends, and then I will dive into the website and go over some of the fundamentals of the company. So with that being said, let's dive right in. First off, this is not financial advice, but we can see a bull flag being printed right now for the stock. So in the last four hours of the trading day, we've kind of been trading in this uh, bull flag range here, if you will. And if we break this this bull flag to the upside um, to tomorrow to kind of start the trading session, I do believe we will see a significant move higher over the coming day. Um, and really, you could see a move higher to about $35 pretty quickly, in my opinion. Um, so we're, we're trading in a pretty clear bull flag. Obviously, shares are overbought at this current time. So that may act as somewhat of a headwind for shares. But Technically speaking, the stock is trading in a bull flag and looks to be heading higher just simply when, when we look at the charts, obviously. And another point I'll make is we're trading above all daily moving averages, which is always a good sign for me and implies bullish momentum. Also, on July 20th, we had the 50-day moving average cross above the 200-day moving average, which is known as a golden cross and actually implies bullish momentum. So, chart looks quite bullish, and I believe the upside continues. And in terms of social media trends, so we're seeing the stock rank as, no as the number one trending stock on stock twits. Also, this is the fourth most mentioned stock on StockTwit. So there's actually more mentions of PSQ Holdings on StockTwit than there is of Netflix, the QQQ Index, and some other names. So pretty cool to see all of that there. Definitely implying um, you know, that the retail community is behind this stock. So awesome to see there. Um, you know, definitely a, a good a good, um, you, know, you know, kind of tailwind, I should say, for the stock. So that being said, let's take a look at the company's website here and see if we can gleam anything from this. So this company basically is a marketplace of, of buyers and sellers, mainly small businesses that are that values align with this company's mission, which is basically just to push, um, you know, freedom loving companies, you know, kind of more of the libertarian Republican, um, you know, views and values. Um, so so we're 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 kind of seeing this this anti ESG movement has been pretty strong, and this is definitely a example of that movement here so interesting mission here for the stock uh, definitely definitely has, has a pretty good website and it's pretty well built out so you can see all these values here we are we are united in our commitment to freedom and truth that's what makes us americans we always protect the family unit and c celebrate the sanctity of life um, so, you know, just just that statement right there can tell you that the company isn't going to be, you know, pushing, um, you know, stores and companies that are, you know, standing against, let's say, you know, abortion, um, you know, in, in certain states. And I'm not making a, a statement for or against. This is an apolitical channel, just simply stating, um, you know, this company's mission. And we believe in the greatness of this nation, and we will always fight to defend it. Our constitution is non-negotiable. Government isn't the source of our rights, so it can't take, so they can't take it, them away. So, this company definitely is pretty headstrong on its values, and it's only putting up um, stores um, that are that are aligned with its values here. And then we can see here that the stock has 18, or excuse me, the, the company has over 55,000 businesses listed on its marketplace, and they have over 1.1 million active consumer members. 
And they also have month over month growth growth of 32% for um, member growth. And then month over month growth for, for businesses is 18%. So, um, you know, seeing kind of demand um, outpace supply, which is, which is good if you're a business on this platform. And then you can see all that stock information there. So it is pretty interesting to see a company like this pop up, right? Like I said, it's really just shows you how starved, um, you know, some investors and, and retail in general is for anything that's kind of anti-establishment, anti-ESG, right? Because um, we've seen kind of ESG be been shoved down the throats of so many investors, many of them willing, many of them not willing. Um, so interesting to see that this company is kind of going in the other direction and is garnering a lot of support um, from that retail stock co community, right? As we've said. So, um, you know, really the, the next question is, will this stock be able to garner institutional, um, you know, support? That might be a little bit harder to come by because it's the institutions that are kind of beholden to this ESG movement um, and what have you, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, there there is probably going to be another shoe to drop in terms of if institutions are willing to kind of dive into shares. But um, you know, we'll 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 see how that all plays out over the coming months here. But like I said, this is this is pretty this is pretty interesting to see, and we could we we could see even maybe more companies like this one pop up, right? Um, it, it, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be kind of, um, a, a one hit wonder in terms of this anti ESG movement. So, you know, interesting to, to see that this company is, you know, alive on the market. They were, they rang the bell at the New York stock exchange for the open today. And, um, I was actually watching CNBC live, uh, this morning just cause they have a lot of good market information. Um, so I was watching, I was watching it live this morning and all you could hear was literally them just chanting USA, USA. And it made me think, I was like, Ooh, what, what, what company is, is, is saying that? Cause I have never heard a company yell USA when it was, you know, being, um, introduced to to the market in in that way obviously ringing the bell so that was kind of interesting there to to see um you know so much enthusiasm and you know patriotism from the company i it's something you don't see throughout the market right there's 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 almost this um you know this this thought that saying something patriotic is almost political and companies just aren't doing it. But, you know, obviously this company has given the, the middle finger to that idea and um, really is, you know, you know, kind of trail uh, blazing its own trail here. So with that being said, let's take a look at some information from the stock. Let's see who holds shares here. So we can see that the largest shareholder is Hudson Bay Capital Management. Um, they own... They own a good portion of shares. They own 1.5 million shares. So uh, interesting to see that they own so much. They own almost 10% of the stock. And this is a very big um, financial institution, um, for those that don't know. And then there's a, a lot of smaller names here. So Q Cubist is pretty big. We see Bank of America also in, in shares as well. D.E. Shaw one of the larger hedge, fund, hedge funds in shares as well. So there's actually a good amount of polar asset management. There's actually a good amount of names here. Um, Peak six investment. So, you know, we're not seeing BlackRock, Vanguard, um, and, you know, the, the, the big boys kind of dive into to shares, but we are seeing, um, you know, the, the company garner some institutional um, support already. And then recently in Q1, we saw Citadel jump out of shares. We saw them be a pretty large uh, seller. We also see JP Morgan in the stock as well. Two Sigma Investments, um, Barclays is in the stock. So there actually is already a good amount 
of support from the institutional investors. UBS is in the stock. Royal Bank of Canada is in the stock, albeit for only 2,500 shares. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, obviously, the bigger players um, are some some smaller some smaller names. Cubis being one of the bigger ones. Bank of America, obviously, a bigger name as well. But let's take a look at some of the short interest for the stock. So this has a short squeeze rating at 54, which is not super high. But what I do find pretty interesting is there aren't many sh uh, shares available to sell short right now. There's actually zero as of 18 hours ago. So that tells me that shorts um, are a bit exhausted. And, you know, you probably won't see, um, well, you f physically cannot see any more um, shorts jump into the stock. Um, <clears throat> in terms of short interest as a percent of float, um, there really is pretty much nothing here. Um, less than, than, than a percent of the stock is sold short. So not really any short interest to really note here. Um, so interesting stuff. This company is very different from many of them, the companies that are on the market. So I, I think that this company is one you should be watching here, one you should put on your radar. Honestly, the company um, you know, doesn't have much information in terms of its financials yet. Um, so you know, I, I would proceed with some caution in terms of you know buying and hold, holding this one forever. Obviously, if you like the fundamental story, it's a free country, right? As this company would say. Um, you know, do do what you do. Um, but with with that being said, I, I think the stock is prime for a continuation of this current breakout just based on the technicals. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. I will end it there. If you got some value from this video, please leave a like. We post company breakdowns and important market moving news on this channel on a daily basis. So make sure you are subscribed. If you would like to receive my daily portfolio moves, my exits, my entries, and see how me and my team of analysts are trading the markets, join the Discord through the link in the description below to get our free 7-day trial. Also, if you would like to join our free daily newsletter, sign up to our Substack, which is linked below as well. With that being said, good luck everyone, happy trading, happy investing.